Hello Ace family. Uh, welcome and today we're going to go over the sandpaper section. Um, this just got a refresh through Ace and the packaging looks awesome. I'm very impressed with everything on this and I wanted to share some of the new products and features with you. Show you some really common questions that customers will ask so you have the ability to answer them. So first of all on the top here um, they, these are sanding sponges and sanding sponges are a hand size a uh, piece of sandpaper that's a big sponge it's squishable it can get um, in between cracks it's it's real good to be able to fit in someone's hand and real convenient if you have to do a quick sanding job which is what a lot of folks uh, will be doing um, with us just something quick sometimes you have a big project but that's for the next section over here so on the sanding sponges on on top there's generally two types there's like the square ones and then we have some that are on an angle and these angle ones are nice to get into some really tight cracks uh, sometimes you might have a piece of furniture or like a crib with some decorative little uh, crevices on it and those can be nice to help get in so with these sanding sponges we're gonna have kind of the good and then we've got the premium ace brand that's better and then we have these sanding nets by diablo that are the best and those sanding nets are going to come up just a little bit throughout this video um, these sanding nets for these sanding sponges are for use in conjunction with this sanding block you do have to have both if the customer already has this they can just buy the replacements for it if they don't have that they will need to pick this up to be able to use these but um, these sanding nets, I want to take a little bit of time and share with you some, some information. They do a good job with the packaging, um, but what it does is they're uh, a lot longer life uh, sanding, I mean sanding sponge, but piece of sandpaper. So they vacuum, they wash, you can shake them off. And um, what happens when you use sandpaper is all the sand particles kind of gum up the, the sandpaper and it makes it not as effective. So you have to change to a new piece of sandpaper. Um, this one's gonna last a lot longer um, because you can just vacuum it off, you can shake it. It actually is, uh, think of it like a cleanable sandpaper. It will wear out eventually, um, but it's gonna give you a lot more life for the customer. So again, good, better, best as far as the sanding sponge. And then we do have kind of some assortment packs here too, some multi-packs, variety packs, so customers can save some money that way. Um, and then um, these come in an assortment of grits. So uh, I would like to take a moment and talk about grits because that's, that's important. Um, it starts um, 60 or 80 grit is very, very aggressive. Um, it's very coarse, very rough. Uh, whenever you're over here, just run your hands across it, feel how coarse it is. Um, this is great, uh, 60 grit and 80 grit is great for getting big, big chips off, uh, whether you're talking wood or, or metal or you're cleaning up some paint or some rust, um, it's very aggressive. And then as you go up, it gets finer and finer. Um, if you're finishing a piece of furniture, you could be 400, 600, something like that, where you're a fairly fine, that might even be too aggressive, but if we go to like a 320, that's gonna be excellent for, uh, for doing some wood furniture, getting that a nice smooth coat so that we can put a, a final paint finish top coat on top of it. And then uh, when you get to 1000 grit or 1500 grit or 2000 grit, that's very popular in automotive. And this one is probably the one I'm, I'm most excited about because we've got automotive customers that come in all the time that, that want the 1000, 1500, 2000 grit. And now we finally have those in the warehouse and in our assortment. And this doesn't even feel like sandpaper. It feels like a blank sheet of paper um, when, you, when you run your finger across it. But it's uh, for use, uh, especially in the automotive paint world. So very excited we have those. There's a lot of projects that come in handy. So um, we do have a rubber sanding block uh, tack cloth. That's great for absorbing all of the smoke or not the smoke, the, the dirt and stuff that comes off of sanding. 
um, so that you can clean it up and have a good surface to, to go ahead and uh, apply a clear coat or a stain to so that it's nice and clean. Again, we've got these sanding nets here um, that I spoke about before, kind of you can shake them off, vacuum them up, reuse them. These sanding nets are, um, you can cut them up to fit your machine. So um, this section right here that we're going over here is our hand sandpaper stuff. The next section is for power sandpaper stuff. And when we mean power, uh, we mean it's used for tools. Um, that it's not used for uh, for you to use your hands on it or have a jig or something. So this actually does cut. Um, so if we don't have quite the right size in the power sandpaper, don't forget about this option for the for the customer so that we can have that. Um, and then we've got a whole assortment of of some uh, smaller packs of sandpaper with the sheets. Again, we can cut them, but uh, all sorts of different crit kits. Um, and grits and then when we get down here we sell the sandpaper single by the sheet sometimes you just have a little project and you just need a little sandpaper so that's what all these are uh, for and then they all scan on the back uh, so that we don't have to have the number up front and then on the bottom of this section we have the steel wool and the steel wool packaging is is pretty um, pretty friendly to to know what's going on so steel wool comes in different um, you could say grits but different varieties different grades um, be fine is a um, quadruple zero it's called quadruple ot and then as you okay. go up there's a triple off there's a double off and then there's just a zero and then we go one two three and the higher you go the more coarse it is and then we have variety packs too so that uh, pretty much sums up the hand stuff now we'll shoot over to the power section here and power section has a lot of same stuff it deals with a lot of the same grits um it's just a little bit different packaging, a little bit different um, because you're going to be using this stuff for tools. So on the bottom, we have sanding belts and it's very important this package is, uh, is friendly to be able to be opened because what's really common is a customer might bring in their old one that doesn't work anymore to get the right size. So we can just pull this out and compare it and see if it's longer or shorter to make sure we get them the right size. So. Again, as always, don't be afraid to open a package for a customer. It goes a long ways for us to be able to be healthy, um, healthy and helpful, and um, and get the customer taken care of. So that's that's great for the business, and it's great for the customer to be happy and leave the store with a smile um, and get what they need. So all the sanding belts are on the bottom. There's a lot, a variety of them. So um, if if they do have a special one, we can order a bunch of them too. Don't ever forget that. Um, right here, we've got some smaller packs of some of the orbital sander and mouse sander applications. So orbital sander, that just means that your sander takes a circular disc on the sander that they have. Could be electric, could be battery powered, um, but there's uh, just a few different uh, types of these. Um, the first type is a stick on, so you're gonna, it's like a sticker. You're gonna peel the back and then put it on and then it'll peel off when you're done. And then the next type is called a hook and loop. That is the generic name for what's called a Velcro um, that, that connects together and that's real common. So just keep in mind that there's the stick on and then we have the hook and loop. That's probably the number one reason that we get returns at our store is people grab the wrong one for their sander. Um, and then we're back on uh, Diablo actually calls their hook and lock instead of a hook and loop. That's just Diablo's thing, but it's, uh, it's the Velcro um, pad on the back of it to be able to connect it to their sander. And then um, on the far right here, we have the mouse sanding option. and. Ace, um, it's not super obvious with the packaging, but 
that is the shape of this whole sandpaper right here. I um, I like Diablos too, where where it does kind of outline it, but that's going to be the shape of it. The mouse uh, sand sanders can get uh, they've got that tip, so you can get in corners a little bit better than the circular ones. But it just depends on what the customer has. So again, we can come back to the uh, the sanding net on those um, as we go up. Um, we have uh, bigger packages of some of the sandpaper, some of the sanding discs, and um, there are a, whole, a few different hole configurations for common, um, common sanders on the market. So they could have a five hole, they could have an eight hole, um, and these are meant to be universal to work with them. So the holes, even if the holes don't match up, all that means is um, the holes are designed to capture the dust and dirt that come through it. it. The sander acts like a vacuum too, just to help with the dust. And um, with these, if the holes don't match up, it's not the end of the world, it's not gonna ruin everything. It's just not gonna vacuum up the dust like, like it should. So just don't worry about that. Um, these are just bigger packs of those. And then right here, this is the sanding net version. And again, the sanding net, it's supposed to last way longer. You can vacuum it out, you can shake it out, you can wash it in water, put it back on, and it should keep working a lot longer than uh, the standard the standard ones go. Um, we've got the sanding net um, version right here, just a little bit different shape and size of sandpaper. Um, keep in mind that above the uh, wood putty, section we do have some pole sanders and whatnot that these work great for um, and then in addition to to that section one more section you want to keep in mind is uh, where our paint thinner is um, we have a liquid sandpaper and if you have a bunch of intricate designs that are very difficult to get into um, that liquid sandpaper is real nice too so um, when we get into some more aggressive stuff, um, we do have uh, some of these that are meant to go on um, an angle grinder. And you can't move this with your hand. This is, it's very aggressive, but if you're cleaning off metal or um, you just need something very aggressive for rust, um, this could be a good option for a customer. But it's sitting here. We have some drun sand uh, kits. We can order additional grits. Uh, for these, but we just carry the assortment here, and that's been that's been pretty well um, for us. Um, on top, we have so we've got drywall sandpaper, drywall sanding screen. So um, please use the tools that are in the in the section. We've got this helpful sandpaper uh, chooser, so that um, if you forget if, if the customer needs some help. Um, that's here so that we can get the customer the right information. And then we've got these uh, smaller strips so that if they don't want to cut off the big package of them and cut them themselves, um, we've got those here. And they work great on the, uh, the pole sanders that are above the uh, wood filler um, in that section. Um, we've got some various uh, a uh, few drill accessories um, here, some cut brushes. Um, these are duplicated a little bit in the tool aisle where they can buy these separate, but we've got this nice little kit here in this section, which is great. And then a flap disc, and you notice they're meant to go on a grill, uh, or a drill, not a drill, I can't talk today. So these are meant to go on a drill. Um, this is a replacement kit, so if you're hook and loop, which again, like a Velcro sort of deal, a hook and loop, if that's not working anymore, you can peel it off your sander and you can fix it up with this and uh, have it working like new. And then this is a stick on adapter that if someone has a bigger job to do, but they don't want to buy a sander, one option is they could use a drill they already have. And this is designed to go on a drill so that you can use yeah, these like, circular yeah. um, units. Um, to help get the job done. So I think that pretty much sums everything up that we had to go over. And as always, ask if you have any questions.